Hi there, and thanks for checking out this video. I'm John from Tennis Companion, and today we're doing an in-depth review and playtest of the Wilson Pro Staff RF97 version 13 for 2020. Before we jump in, I do want to thank Wilson for giving me this racket to review. However, beyond providing me with access to this racket, it's worth noting that I haven't been paid by Wilson or anyone else to discuss it. So what I share in this video is my own opinion, and Wilson will see this review for the first time when it's published. With that said, let's kick things off with the RF97 specs so you know exactly what you're getting with this racket. Originally released back in 1983, the Pro Staff has a storied 37 year history, with a massive number of Grand Slam titles credited to the Racket franchise, and former world number ones including Pete Sampras and Steffi Graf having used it. Roger Federer has further cemented the Racket's legendary status with his use of the Pro Staff throughout his career, which is now in its 13th generation. The RF97 has a standard 27 inch length and features a smaller 97 square inch head size with a 16 by 19 string pattern. For its weight, it's quoted at a hefty 12 ounces or 340 grams, but as you'd expect, there's a bit of variance as the frame I have weighs in at just over 12 ounces or 344 grams. You can add roughly 18 or so grams for the strung weight. When it comes to balance, the Pro Staff RF97 is 12 points head light at 30.5 centimeters unstrung, which reduces to 9 points head light at 31.5 centimeters when strung. Although I don't have access to a racket diagnostic center to measure the frame's swing weight or stiffness, I'd expect them to be very close if not identical to the last model, which was a swing weight of 335 and an RA rating of 68. Last but not least, the RF97 has a thinner, control-centric 21.5mm beam all the way around. Here's a quick comparison to the Clash, which is 24.5mm as a point of reference. If you're looking to dive deeper or learn more about any of these specs, I'd encourage you to check out my guides on these topics, which I've linked in the description. The latest generation of the RF97 retains some of the key ingredients that made the original Pro Staff popular, while evolving and refining the formula to better suit the modern game and Roger Federer's style of play. However, before jumping in, keep in mind that while it's useful to learn about the intentions behind the tech, what really matters is how a racket feels. So I'd encourage you to try or demo a racket before buying if possible to form your own opinions. First up, the ProStaff RF97 is composed of a 50-50 inner braid of graphite and Kevlar, along with a 100% outer braid of graphite. The braided construction refers to the continuous graphite and Kevlar fibers that run throughout the entire frame. First, the more common layup, where many smaller sheets of material are stitched together in a single direction as found in most other rackets. The result is a unique feel loved by Pro Staff enthusiasts, especially when combined with Kevlar's natural dampening characteristics and the frame's foam-filled lining. Next up, the racket features Wilson's perimeter weighting system, or extra weight placed at 3 and 9 o'clock on the racket's head to reduce twisting and improve control. These features, combined with the racket's dramatic headlight balance, heavy weight, and thin beam, result in a hitting experience that emphasizes precision and control. The latest generation of the RF97 takes us back to the all-black version from 2016, while maintaining some of the subtle updates from the 2018 tuxedo frame and incorporating a bit of extra refinement for my favorite RF model to date. You'll find an all-black butt cap at the bottom of the racket, which looks great, but it's worth noting it doesn't have the rounded edges that you'll find on the red caps common on most Wilson frames these days. The Pro Staff print is now tighter on the shaft to make way for a gray and silver stripe, a throwback to the original Pro Staff, and there's also a slightly modified display of RF97 with the weight and string pattern displayed alongside it. Next up, the matte black finish now wraps up through 3 and 9 o'clock on the head for a more seamless paint job. However, the racket's most dramatic design change is visible at the top of the hoop. Instead of paint, the braided graphite construction of the frame is displayed under a clear gloss finish and topped off with gray and silver stripes flanking either side of the grommets. All in all, this version of the RF97 takes my top spot for the best looking racket in tennis. Plus, there's a decent chance the paint job will be customizable on Wilson's website if that's something that piques your interest. 
The recommended tension range for the Wilson Pro Staff RF97 is 50 to 60 pounds. For my playtest, I went with a hybrid string setup using 1.25mm Luxalon Alu Power Rough in the mains at 56 pounds and 1.3mm Wilson Natural Gut in the crosses at 60 pounds. Federer uses the same strings, but he switches them. So Luxalon Alu Power Rough in the crosses and Wilson Natural Gut in the mains. His tension is also slightly different and he modifies it per the conditions, but it's close to what he'd use. For reference, these strings can also be purchased as a single pack from Wilson called Champion's Choice. For me, the natural gut in the crosses provides the racket with some extra power, comfort, and feel. On the other hand, polyester in the mains will help elevate the racket's spin potential and provide extra durability while dominating the overall feel. Although well suited for this racket, it's an expensive string setup. If you're looking for a more affordable option, you could swap out the natural gut with a powerful multi-filament with excellent results. Now that you know exactly what to expect from the RF97 specs and technologies, let's jump into my playtest and review. Before we jump in, here are a few playtest notes that you might find useful when considering my thoughts and opinions on this racket. On ground strokes, the RF97 is excellent. Although it doesn't generate as much topspin as the game's most spin-friendly rackets, there's more than enough, and I never felt it was lacking. The RF97 rewards early preparation and excellent timing, and if you get that right, power comes easily, with the frame moving effortlessly through the ball. For Slice, the racket is buttery smooth and stable in one of its strengths. As someone who typically uses a lighter racket with a 100 square inch head size for that extra spin in power, it does require a bit of adjustment, and I could sense a smaller sweet spot, but it didn't take long to feel right at home with it. Hitting at net was hands down my favorite part of the playtest. The RF97 absorbs pace easily and feels incredibly precise, which combined with the hybrid string setup was about as good as it gets. A bonus with the RF97's heavier weight is more controlled and smooth movement, but it requires you to emphasize footwork for proper positioning. If you've never experienced the benefit of customizing a racket for added stability and plow through, demoing this racket for 30 minutes can help you quickly gain a feel and appreciation for the value it can bring. On serves, the RF97 is a rock solid performer, but I'd argue it's where it requires the biggest adjustment for players coming from a lighter racket. Not only will you have to build up the stamina to swing it for a full match, but you'll benefit from letting the racket do more of the work for you. Much of the RF97's power comes from its weight, so as long as you approach the serve with proper technique and reasonable racket head speed, the pace will show up along with greater precision because you're not trying to overhit. Overall, the racket will benefit players looking for accuracy over raw power on their serve. On returns, the RF97 is a bit of a mixed bag. Like ground strokes, it responds well to quick preparation and great timing but the trick is getting the racket into position and quickly accelerating it forward. If you get it right, the racket will absorb the pace of the heaviest serves and the results are fantastic, but you really have to nail the timing. All in all, it's highly capable on returns, especially when dealing with extra pace. If you're a mid to higher level intermediate or advanced player, the Pro Staff RF97 will reward your sound technique and deliver excellent all court performance. However, the racket also demands exceptional footwork and positioning to nail your timing, so you should expect the quality of your physical fitness to come into play. Overall, it's a fantastic frame that delivers on the promise of precision and control. With that said, I discourage beginners from the lure of using the exact model Roger Federer swings due to its weight and smaller head size. Early on, new players will benefit from a lightweight racket with a larger head that's easier to swing, which helps facilitate learning proper technique while also affording extra margin for error. If you like what you heard in this review, but you're looking for something a bit more approachable, then the Pro Staff 97 I have here is likely your answer. It's lighter, but still features the same tried and true Pro Staff formula with an update called Braid 45 in reference to the new 45 degree angle used to braid the graphite and Kevlar. I'll have a full review of the Pro Staff 97 coming up in the next few weeks, but in the meantime, check the description for a link to my first look and initial impressions. To learn more about the Pro Staff RF97, be sure to check out my full write-up which I've linked in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. 
Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And if you'd like to join me for future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.